In this question, a current I flows in a long straight wire with cross section having the form of a thin half ring of radius capital R. Find the induction of the magnetic field at the point O. We have to find the net magnetic field at this point O. The thread structure of uh, this ring is something like this. For just the better visualization, I am drawing this. It is something. It is something like this. The current is going like this. So from a cross section, this is the cross sectional view, and from this cross section, the current is I, and this total current I is flowing through like this, and length is infinite. It is of infinite length. For calculation of magnetic field, we have to divide. We have to divide this ring in form of small small wires like. This is an infinite wire, like this is an infinite wire. So this kind of wires, infinite wires, we have to divide. Let us take a an. Let us take an element. I am assuming the current is flowing inwards. So current is flowing into the plane of the paper like this. Let us take element. From angle at angle theta, and it is a very small angle d theta. Current is flowing in this direction. Current is inwards. If current is inwards, then magnetic field is. This is the dl vector. Current is inwards, and dl cross r. This will be like this. So magnetic field due to this inward infinite wire. Will be something like this. This is the magnetic field. Let us call it as dB. Similarly, we can take element here also. So I am writing it uh, from different color. We can take a similar element here, and then d theta. This will be a wire having inward current, and due to this also, the magnetic field is like this. db so <coughs> this db has two components in the upward direction and in this direction and this db has downward and in this direction component from symmetry we can see that these components the components in this directions will added up and components in this direction will get cancelled out so net magnetic field will be Towards the right in the diagram, and this is theta. This will be 90 minus theta, and this angle is theta. So it will be dB cos theta. So to find the net magnetic field, we have to integrate dB cos theta. B is integration of dB cos theta. Now the expression for dB. dB is magnetic field created by An infinite wire, magnetic field of infinite wire, formula is mu naught into I, and current from this much length. This is total length pi r. Current total is I, and it is current per unit length. We are taking this length as r d theta, so multiply it with r d theta. So this is mu naught into i, mu naught into i divided by two pi r, two pi, and distance is equal to the radius. So this is the formula for the magnetic field of infinite wire. And put it here. B is equal to this r and this r is cancelled. This pi will be pi square. So it is mu naught i divided by two pi. R square d theta multiplied with cos theta. Now we have to integrate this expression. The limit of theta. Limit of theta will be from minus pi by two to plus pi by two. Here it is zero to pi by two. Here it is minus pi by two to zero. So limit is minus pi by two to plus pi by two. 
all these terms are constant this will come out and we can also do the integration from 0 to pi by 2 and the result will be double of 0 to pi by 2 so we can also write twice of 0 to pi by 2 and the all the constant terms will come out may not i divided by 2 pi r square cos theta d theta integration cos theta d theta integration is simple sin theta 2 and 2 will go mu naught i divided by pi r square so it is pi square it is uh, pi into pi this is pi square this is simply r this is r this is pi square this is pi square this will be sin theta from 0 to pi by 2 if we put limits sin pi by 2 is 1 sin 0 is 0 so final answer for magnetic field in this problem will be b is equal to mu naught i divided by pi square r so this is the final answer to this problem